Despite being smaller than the African elephant, Asian elephants are still the largest land mammal on the Asian continent, weighing between 2.25 and 5.5 tonnes, with the largest individuals being the bulls of Sri Lanka. This isn't the only difference between Asian and African elephants though, as Asian elephants also have smaller ears, a twin domed head, and the females often lack tusks. Tusks in all elephants are simply the elongated upper incisors. With all these differences, it's not surprising that Asian elephants are more closely related to woolly mammoths than African elephants. The elephants live in groups of six to seven related females, led by a matriarch, the oldest female. These herds are significantly smaller than those of savannah elephants in Africa, but like African elephants, they will occasionally join other groups to form larger herds, even if only temporarily. They will spend at least two thirds of their day feeding, consuming 150 kilograms per day. The fibrous foods, such as sugarcane, bamboo, leaves and grasses, that the elephants prefer, put a lot of wear on their teeth. These teeth are constantly replaced from the back of the jaws, and an individual elephant may go through six sets of teeth in their lifetime. Sadly, Asian elephants are highly endangered, with only around 50,000 in the wild from India to Borneo. Where populations do still occur, they only number a few hundred, separated into small fragmented groups. This is only 10% of the African elephant's population, which currently numbers around half a million. However, the elephants gain some protection from their cultural significance. According to Hindu mythology, when the gods and demons stirred the ocean in search of the elixir of life, nine jewels surfaced, one of which was the elephant. Hinduism also has a powerful deity, honoured before all sacred rituals, named Lord Ganesha, who is depicted as having an elephant's head.